Hi, this is Dale with ComputerAfterCare.com. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of how to download and install and run a program called Spyware Blaster. It's a free program from Java Cole Software that blocks bad stuff from known bad websites. With that said, let's get started and browse to their website and download it. So I'm going to use Firefox and there's their website address. The address will also be posted near the video here so you can type it in yourself or just click on it later. Anyways, uh, here we are on their home page and we're going to go start the free download. Now there are a couple options. Uh, if you want the totally free version you'll have to manually update it. Otherwise you can go make a donation or uh, use some of their uh, ad based methods of getting it for free and get the automatic updates. We'll just continue the download with the free method. I like to use this third mirror link down here because it goes straight to the download file. There it is. So I'm going to save that to my desktop. That way the file will be right in front of me when I close all these windows. And there it is. So one interesting thing about Spyware Blaster is it doesn't take any CPU or memory overhead to run. It actually installs these uh, lists that will just block your browser from even going to these websites so you're basically immune to them. So again it doesn't slow down your web browsing and for the most part it doesn't interfere with the good websites you might normally go to. I would say that uh, since a lot of graphics on some websites are you know fed up from uh, ad servers that sometimes you might see a picture placeholder with like a little red X inside the window. When you see that sometimes it's actually an ad that's being blocked from Spyware Blaster. Uh, if, if you don't like that effect sometimes you might have to find out what the URL is of that ad server and go into Spyware Blaster and uncheck the box so you can actually see that. But again this is for your protection so hopefully uh, you won't mind that one. Occasionally that happens. Anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and install the program. I'm using Windows 7, and if you use Windows 7 or Vista, you'll have more success installing programs by running as administrator. So I just right-clicked on it, and I opened up my context menu, and here I'm going to select Run as Administrator. I'm going to accept the user account control prompt and select Yes. And here we are. So let's get going. Let's click Next. I'm going to accept the license agreement. You can go in here and read it if you like. Click Next. It's, I'm just going to accept all the default settings for the installation. So Next. Put a shortcut to the Spyware Blaster on the desktop. Next. And Install. And we're going to run it right away. So click Finish. And for a short delay, click Next and here as we said we're going to use manual updating so click next and finish now if you notice when you first open up the program all the protection starts out as disabled so you can go over here to enable all protection is usually what I do and you'll notice that all the items for each browser have now zero items with their protection disabled as you can notice here, it says there are 13,471 items in the database. I mean, you're getting protected against that many known threats. And if you were to do an automatic update, again, I mentioned you have to go and pay for that, basically. But I don't mind doing a manual update. So you can go over here and click Updates, Check for Updates. And of course, you've got to be connected to the Internet to get this and then click enable protection for all unprotected items so as you can see here that increased our number here by about I think it was 103 extra items from that one update I would recommend that you do your updates regularly every few days and go and re-enable the protection so you have the latest and maximum protection for all the browsers and uh, that's all you have to do now if you wanted to actually exclude some of these items from being blocked from your browser because you want to see some of these websites you can actually go into uh, each browser and there's a lot of stuff in here and I apologize if you see some raunchy names in here but those are some of the names of the websites 
that are being blocked for your protection. But if you came in here and unchecked the ones that you wanted to go to, uh, you'll be able to go to those websites in the future and not have them blocked. And of course, you got the restricted sites. And then you got another browser that it helps protect uh, Mozilla Firefox. Same type of features, although it mostly just protects cookies and, and that. And it's my browser of choice, anyways. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say about Spyware Blaster. It's an excellent uh, added layer of security for your existing antivirus, anti spyware software. software. I have never seen any uh, negative interactions, any program incompatibilities with this program. It's uh, highly rated, and I hope you enjoy it. And with that said, thank you for watching our video. This is Dale with ComputerAfterCare.com. Thank you, and good day.